Alrighty, everyone, it's Den here, and welcome to the School of Light and another image breakdown today. I've been looking forward to this one ever since I started the series, um, and I'm going to preempt this a little bit by saying this one's going to go a little longer than normal for a few reasons. Um, the introduction is going to be a little longer. This, the man sitting on the other side of the screen here is Jason Reinhardt. Hi, Jason. How you doing, Dennis? Oh, Great good, to see you. Alrighty, so if you are a light painter, uh, I, look, I've got goosebumps already, and I haven't even started. Great. If you're, yeah, if you've if you've been in the light painting community for any length of time, the man on the other side of the screen here doesn't need any introduction at all. But as with a lot of these uh, image breakdowns early on, uh, I want I want if if you're if you're an experienced light painter, you're going to get something from this, but. I think this one is going to be really special for those of you who are either really new to light painting or have never even tried light painting because Jason is one of these guys who um, really epitomizes what it means to be a light painter. I think the work that he creates uh, is, is, is such an incredible example of the power of light painting. Um, yeah, and, and his, his methodologies, his ideas, his, I make notes. Uh, I always make notes on everyone. And here's some words that I wrote down because there were many and I wanted to keep this under five hours. So um, <laughs> I've written that, that Jason is, is like a mad scientist. Um, he is prolific. Uh, and you'll understand in a minute why the body of work that Jason creates is even more astonishing because of the life that he leads. Um, so as with all of these, I'm going to pop up on the screen now. Now we're not doing a single image with Jason because one of the things that you do mate is you have this incredible ability to take an idea or a concept or a technique and you push it and you, you, you won't just dabble, you won't dip your toes in the water and then hop back out and run away. You kind of dip your toes in and then dive in sort of head first and, and maul the idea until, until what's leaping off the screen is incredible. So we're gonna cover a bit of a series of images today and I'll pop them up on the screen now. Um, and as with all of these, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get Jason to talk us through uh, the idea because there's, you know, I, 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 think, I think with all great photography, and if you can do, manage to do this with light painting, I think it takes it to another level. And that is telling a story. And I reckon with these images, Jason, even before we get to sort of hear your idea or the concept, or even the technique of creating it, there is clearly something going on here that is, that is just gorgeous. Um, so that's the process we're going to go through today. But uh, I'm just going to carry on with the introduction a little bit because I think it's important uh, to, to understand a little bit about Jason before we dive into this. Um, as with all of these, I'm going to link you through to all of the places where Jason are, but um, I need you to be really careful if you're watching this. I'm going to give you a warning that you need to turn everything else off in your life for about half a day if you're going to go down the Jason Reinhardt rabbit hole because there are so many images, styles, techniques, stories, uh, tutorial videos, for crying out loud, the very first image I chose, Jason, to go through with you, I, I had this sort of duh moment when I realized that there is a tutorial for the first image that I chose that has nearly one million views online. That is a light painting tutorial on YouTube that has nearly a million views. And mind-boggling it <laughs> so when i like when i think of you and and jason page i don't think i i don't think i'd be out of place in saying that you two have probably reached more people outside of the light painting community than everyone else in the light painting community combined right i i think that is a safe thing to say and that blows my mind you are a light painting brushes ambassador uh, and you are an amazing ambassador um, uh, all the time. You are an absolutely, and this is something that that uh, I I feel it wells up inside of me when I think about it. You are an astonishing father, and I I want to just recognise that. People need to realise that when they look at your work, when they go down your rabbit hole, you do all of this stuff while maintaining a full time job. 
you have six kids in the house. <laughs> kids in the house. Yep. 18 to five. <laughs> and I, you're one of these people that are very open about your life. And so you, you managed to be such a, a great dad and we don't need to go into all the things, but I promise you, mate, and, and, a, and a wonderful husband. So you do all of those things and you are a prolific light painter. So look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep these things brief. You do, Jason does this other project. It's a 52 week using household items to make light paintings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Jason will go into his house and just pluck things out and make light painting with it. I'll link to a whole bunch of that. So anyway, uh, I think, look, I, I, oh, duh. Everyone here knows I'm a bit of an orb guy. Uh, Jason and the wonderful Tacky Shack and, and uh, Jason Page and a group of other guys have a, had, in my opinion, you right. you know the 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 Guinness Book of World Record for the most orbs in one photo back in 2015 or something. Yeah, 2014. Yeah. 2014. When it was official, yeah. These madmen went out into a paddock and spun 200 orbs uh, in one image. And it was the beginning of the Guinness Book of World Record for uh, most orbs in an image, which unfortunately died uh, very quickly when um, it just got ridiculous and people weren't actually spinning orbs. But that's a whole nother story. We'll just leave that over there. So without further ado, welcome to the School of Light, Jason. Welcome. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you so much, man. That, that's a great introduction right there. And I really well, appreciate it. Uh, it's my pleasure. Look, and people, anyway, like I say, pe people will go and, and they will fall into your pool of, of awesomeness. Mate, let's, let's bring these images up on the screen and, and I'll be scrolling through them as we talk. But the first thing I would love everyone to hear from you before we start getting into the steps of the progress is talk to me about the idea, man. Like it's, it, it, uh, I have had goosebumps constantly since I hit record. Let's go. Thank you, man. The ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jason Reinhardt. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. um, you know, for me personally, I'm just, I'm somebody that just feels everything around me, you, you know, everything. And, um, you know, I, I try to incorporate that into my work and just the, you know, the current state of the world. And um, I want what I create to be a positive, you know, always positive i don't want to ever represent myself in a negative way or or interpret anything negative um so when i had the kind of you know heaven and hell the great bounce just everything kind of going on going on in the world um just had that idea just to, to create and, and i love science and space and you know stuff like that so um for me just uh you know the stars and galaxies and planets that it's something that's really captivating to me so um basically how i do it is um you know i use my iphone or use an ipad and i sit there and i'll just i'll google search uh just different planetary systems galaxies stuff like that and i screenshot them yeah. and then what i do is um uh, you know I'll, I'll take my lens and i can um uh, do different focal lengths you know the the right exposure for that focal length and then I'm doing this all in the dark. And then I just, <laughs> <laughs> so I move, move, then move my, uh, my lens, you know, to the other focal length that I need for uh, my bed sheet, the yeah. bed sheet yeah. technique that I'm pretty known for. Um, yeah. I use that and, and just kind of see where it goes, you know, and, and incorporate my, my kids and they're a big part of my work. So. Yeah. So that's, so that, that's, that's something that, that, um, Again, you know, people, if anyone watching this who is an experienced light painter will, will know that. Right. But if, if, you're, if you're fresh to light painting, before we start sort of breaking down these images, there's a couple of things to know. These are not post-production composites. These are not images put together in Photoshop at all. Oh, and, yeah, these, these are out of camera. Yeah, yeah they're out of camera. And the, the hands that you see, so the hands and all of that is done. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about how that's done, but these are your kids, right? Yes. Um, yeah, sure and, yeah. And, and that, I, I think there's something really magical about working with models, but especially when it's your own children, right? Right, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, before I, uh, before I got married, um, you know, I was a single dad for a long time and um, bouncing a full-time job and then the kids going to school, trying to find a connection with them 
I was able to do that through my passion with photography. And I found, cause you, you got to make time for yourself in order. I mean, you, you just have to, it's just, yeah. it makes everything much better in your life. And, um, it was a way for me to incorporate my kids into my work and it just, it worked. So that's, that's sure, that, how that all transpired. That, that we, we, uh, as an aside, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a little hearts light painting crew that we may be doing yes. an image breakdown with, which is really exciting. Right. So let's, if you don't mind, I'd be keen without, without getting, you know, F stops and that sort of stuff doesn't matter, but it's very easy to say, well, I, I do a screenshot off the iPad and then do the thing with, with my, so what step me through the steps that it takes to create the photograph. So you're in your room there, the camera's on a tripod, obviously. What are, what are the steps that we go through to grab this image, man? Um, yeah, just like I said, you know, first is, is the iPhone with, with yeah. the image and, um, you know, just taking, you want to, you want to be focused you know, right, right at your, uh, at your, your, your iPhone or your iPad first off to get yeah. that exposure. And now all this is done in the dark. So I'll know exactly what kind of focal length I need. Yeah. And then I just turn it back to get the, the other elements and just build everything around it. So, yeah. So you go, so you, you, you literally take an exposure of your iPhone or iPad. Yeah. yeah. Then you refocus back on the sheet. Right. And then you create, then you do the, now the great thing is that there is a, a tutorial online on how you do your sheet work, right? Yes, there is. Yeah. yeah so we can, so we can reference to that and you, now there's a lot of different uh, on some of these planets. It looks like misty star, like mist, like smoke around the planets, like a galaxy. What have you used to create those? Yeah, so the um, um, the fiber optics from uh, light painting brushes, um, they're they're beautiful, you know, oh. especially with the screw on color connectors, and um, you can get a lot of different light elements and different colors, and um, all that's done from behind the bed sheet, you know, just yeah. whisking around. So, yeah. and then you and then you just so in in of these, I'm looking at this, I'm looking on your. Instagram at the moment, and I can see sort of, you know, 10 or so in, in the series. Do you do them? Did you do them all in one night? Yeah, that's, that's all one night. <laughs> I, I just, I, I'll, I'm here in my studio. I'll just crank the music up and just, yeah, um, yeah go at it, man. So. I've got this vision. I've got this vision of the heart household with music cranking. What do we got? Something like, you know, maybe some credence. Oh, I'm, I'm a rocker, man. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bit, of, bit of credence and then the girls are like it's my turn dad come on right. let me have a go and you're like just wait your turn and we've got to do this thing and right that's how it goes <laughs> and then and then the barbecue's going outside getting ready to oh my gosh if it's warm enough jumping in the pool yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you um the 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 um I tell you something that's interesting, and and I and I when I look at these, if if I if I don't know that process that you've used to create them, right, they make me feel hope. Mm -hmm. The world, yeah. the galaxy, the hands wrapping, you know. Especially there's one, there's one that I re that that I keep falling into, and that's the one with the two hands with the orange light around it. Right. looking over and and the light coming where the face might be you know when i yeah. when i when i look at that these these make me feel hopeful they make me feel right. that that things are okay they make me feel you know then there's the other one the other one that blows me away is the two hands just with the white light like right the the first one you were talking about that um that particular image uh, is a um, representation of hell but it's funny that you say hope because that light is a representation of hope so you you nailed it exactly what you said there that is that is what I was trying to create so um, yeah so no matter how dark or, or negative things are around you there there is hope and there is light you know you just yeah. got you got to be it so you got to be the light do you something do you, when 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 the lights go off and you're in your studio and 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 it's dark and and the kids might be in bed or they might be with you, right? Do you ever do you ever feel like it it, it feels a bit odd that because and and only because this is how I feel sometimes is that when I'm in the dark with my light, 
I feel it's probably the safest I feel. For some people, the dark is quite a scary place. Do you, do you for when, when things are tough for you, Jason, I know, I know there are many days that are dark for you, mate. Right. And do you, do you find light painting as a place of, um, does it help you to feel better? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Just yeah. uh, kind of, you know, push the world aside for a minute and just kind of focus on, on being uh, something that I'm passionate about and sharing and uh, yeah. be creative. That, that is a, definitely a big relief. So it's yeah. an experience that I would love to share with everybody and hope through my images, you know, that there is a part of that. So it's it's um your your tutorials are so good i i i always enjoy i always enjoy watching them i i, I like your um you and jason paid both wh whenever i watch your tutorials i'm like oh damn i need to do that in my own like you you break things down so well and right you know it's funny how many takes it takes you know oh my I'm, god oh jason he'll do them and he, he just rattles right through them but me you know i'll, I'll it takes hours. <laughs> Maybe yeah, even day, yeah. You know? People don't, people, people, unless you've ever done it, you don't know. Right, yeah. So here, here's another thing I just want people to, uh, and, and I, I do try and keep these things reasonably short, but I think, I think one of the things people will find when they go through your work is there's these, there seems to be these repeating patterns. So you'll look at, you'll find a technique. So the, the sheet, your bed sheet technique, right? right. Which is, which is so gorgeous. But, when you're going through your work, it pops up every now and then it pops up and, and it'll, so you'll, you'll cross over techniques into different things. If someone, if someone, it, it, this is, this feels like a funny question to ask you because you, you, because really you don't need to go far to find exactly how you do all these things. So I don't want to ask you a, I don't think I'm going to ask you a technical bit of advice for people, but what advice would you, if, if you're someone that's, that's at home and you may have kids or, or you may have a little corner of your house to, to, um, to, to set up as a bit of a studio to, to have some fun with the kids, do you need to have a giant array of super mega tools or, or can you have fun? Talk to us a little bit about having fun with basic stuff. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, just the uh, anything is, is living. Let me hear. I'll give you an example. All right. So I just bought this the other day at Walmart. It's a local store. Look at that thing. Wow. Look at the light coming off it. It's just a, uh, it's a tablecloth. No you know? way. So, I mean, take a light and you know, you've, you've got, yeah, you've got yeah. a real interesting tool. Ooh, yeah. So yeah. Just that. Yeah. I mean, just use, use the stuff that's around you and be creative with what you got, you know? So. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was you. I I, I was watching uh, your um, your podcast with Aaron Coma, um, and and it was really interesting for me to hear you say that that you you tend not to use super bright torches, um, right. and and everything's kind of at f eight. And and I love I love that about what you do is that it means that you know. And this is an important point for anyone watching this. If you're just getting into light painting or you want to have a play. When you when you're looking through Jason's work, it's all achievable. You know, it's all achievable. You don't you don't you don't have to spend mega bucks. You can go over to light painting brushes and buy one fiber optic and have a play with that. Or, or you know, you don't need to invest a bazillion dollars. And I'll refer again to your ridiculously creative fifty two weeks of household items. <laughs> Where literally you just it, you you walk around the house and find just a thing, and make a light painting with it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know that's something that uh, is important to me. I've always been known for just taking the ordinary and making something you know obsessed you know just crazy with it. You know, and I want to be known for that. So yeah. it was a good opportunity to share that and and have other people join join along and you know. Yeah. And yeah, it's been great. Well. As I said before, I could I could sit and talk. We could record for, literally for hours, and people would would just keep getting amazing tips and tricks. Um, the idea of this series is to keep it short, so I have a challenge for for you and I together, Jason. Let's over the years, let's get together and 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 I've got some other pretty cool ideas around uh, creating some cool content. But I just wanted people to meet you, uh, have a look at this beautiful series of images, and and just realize that you know with a phone and a bed sheet and some 
you know, a little bit of color, you can make a stunning images and connect with your children, which I think is just, it blows me away. And here's a, here's an advertisement for an upcoming series. Uh, little hearts and I going to sit down and break an image down. These kids are, well, look at their father. I mean, it's crazy. Right. They, <laughs> they, um, yeah, again, Jason is a, a light painting brushes ambassador. Jason Page is a legend and, and just a gorgeous guy as well. Um, yeah. I'm looking at my notes. I think we covered everything. Um, yeah, I feel proud. I feel proud to have you as a friend. I feel, I think, I think the, the energy and the love that you give to the light painting community is second to none, Jason. And I'm very proud, that. very, very proud to have you on board and on, at the School of Light. Um, have I missed anything gigantic? Is there anything you'd like to share? No, th this is, yeah, go sounds on. great. You know, yeah. thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah, this I'll is. Do. We could, we could do, I, I could have a whole, a whole section of the School of Light that would be Jason Reinhardt and I would have to say anything. I'd go, ladies and gentlemen, it's Jason Reinhardt and just, you just go, you know, but you have your own thing. Thank you everyone for joining us again at the School of Light. Um, and, Thank you. and yeah, and for a wonderful image breakdown, I'm sure that, that you are going to just spend way more time that is sane looking through Jason's stuff and, um, and I'll see you for another episode. Thanks, Jason. You're a legend. Thank you. I appreciate you, Dennis. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the School of Light. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be adding videos all the time. Head over to the Light Painting Tool Shop at the website. There's a huge array of tools I've made there for you to take on your light painting journey. Peace.